With high flyers and the fashionable about to descend on Flemington, the birdcage is getting ready to deliver a cup week party, from astronauts to fragrance-filled rooms. Madeleine Slattery says each marquee is brimming with character. For Melbourne's famous faces, the birdcage is the ultimate host with the most. And it can't get fancier than this, a three-level pavilion, each floor with its own perfume. So as guests move up and down the staircase, they blend the fragrance through their activity. Luxury from top to bottom, right down to these tiny desserts. And these ones look like stones. Yes, uh, because uh, we design like uh, something simply city. From eight-piece bands to vibrant violinists. <laughs> and a champagne tower for good measure. But for an out-of-this-world experience, Penfolds is promising to take guests far, far away. Fly me to the moon. So it's only fitting you'll find the odd astronaut inside. It's a bit like a lunar eclipse as you travel through the marquee. Models Ashley and Jess Hart will attend Derby Day. Yes. Is this a trend that we'll say more of? I don't know. These are men's suits, so I'd love to see some ladies and actually men's menswear. Yes. From snacks to canapes to a full-blown degustation, at Paradiso you'll be wined and dined. We've got seven courses all up. Uh, we've got a few little smaller dishes, snacks to begin with through to more substantial courses and then some dessert. As we know, there's heaps of walking to be done during a Melbourne Cup carnival, so if you want to give the heels a rest and put your feet up, Leo and his fabulous rickshaw can get you from A to B in style. Madeline Slattery, Nine News. Now with a look ahead to sport, Tony Jones. I see you out there. You looking forward to it? <laughs> it's going to be wonderful, I think. <laughs> We're not going. Thanks, Pete.